My dad got laid off from his job as an airline pilot because of COVID. We decided to make the best of it, so we bought a boat and switched to online school. After months of boat projects, we will head to the Caribbean islands. It all started here in Indian Town, Florida. We spent three months getting the boat ready. We had engine cooling issues. We rebuilt the solar system. Had a dead dinghy motor and some rigging maintenance. The boat projects never stopped, but it was time to move to a boring wall in Stewart, Florida. Here we go. Logan decided he wanted to edit the YouTube video, so here he is, hard at work. This is my job now. And I like it. It's fun. Well, we'll see what you come up with. Perfect. Maybe perfect. you got the creative mind. Logan's first solo. That's how Logan's solo for solo ends. Hey! <laughs> this edge is not fun to control with only one person because this thing is so small. It just literally, I was like this with my freaking arm behind my back with the tiller. How's it going, boys? Great, man! We're back on the side! We're pretty quick, huh? Yeah! Oh, fast! Just practicing sailing around the bay. Working on your tacks, how's it going? This has been Hunter's dream this whole time with sailing and this whole cruising thing. He just wanted to sit on the bow and eat applesauce. It tastes great. Your life is complete now, right? Yeah. We can go out now.
to grab a little freezer um, just for a few things you know we know we're not gonna have a full-size freezer but so I bought this little one on Amazon for like 179 bucks and uh, works pretty good it's 12 volt freezer uh, plugged it in for a couple days just to test power consumption and it's actually like it's looking pretty good it doesn't take much power at all like I said it's not huge it's uh you know we can make we can make an ice cube tray or two and maybe you know have a little chicken or some fruit or something in there but you know or some fish that we don't want to eat right away when we catch it but uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut off the 12 volt plug and i'm gonna wire it in permanently that way we're not using up that plug one of the reasons i chose this little freezer is i actually wanted it to fit under our salon table which it fits perfectly Especially if that's if you had that side of the table folded down, it's nothing to trip over. It's it fits right underneath there. No, it's not big, but it does the job. And uh, the only thing I have left to do is run that that wire under through the floor. All right, so I got the freezer all wired in. Um, when I plugged it into the cigarette lighter or the 12 volt, uh, it would it would say that it would kick off it protects the battery and it would kick off when it had an under voltage but really i don't think that cigarette lighter plug was made for that much amperage so what i did was i actually wired it in with eight gauge to the back to the battery bank um and so that way it doesn't have as far of a run and it seems to be running really well at that i used a terminal block that's how i decided to attach it and just to protect in case we run into it, I threw some electrical tape over the blocks, but um, that's not really necessary. It's just that that's how I did it. So then I ran it back to the back of the boat and uh, we'll, we'll do that later tonight. All right. All right, so we have to move some wire through really small compartments in the boat, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So how did we make that happen? So we had this this string already run through it. So we attached the string to um, one of these the end to this of this wire, and we duct taped it. And then we pulled it through the wall slowly. And then we attached another wire so we could get it up the other wire through. And then we have the paracord to show our end. All right. So we were lucky enough that the previous owner had left a piece of paracord through that wall, huh? Yep. 
Yeah. Made it very, much easier. Made it made it really easy, huh? Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, right now we're working on wiring through the boat for our new freezer. So, next step will be down through the floor into the battery bank compartment, which I know you're excited about because we did all that solar wiring that way. <laughs> <laughs> So now I made sure that I pulled some wire through or some new paracord through and that way I'm going to pull that back through so we always have that in there in the wall so if we have to move any more wire we can. And then we could be nice to the sec next timers. Yep. <laughs> So what'd you guys get? A huge mullet, which is supposed to be a bait fish somehow. Oh, uh, looks about on. 14 and a half. 14 and a half. Wow. That's huge. That is huge. He was he was dying when we got him, sadly. So we should probably release him. But yep. cool. Anyway, right, buddy. You guys went out fishing on the paddleboard. Yeah, see, that's how we were swimming. Hmm. He was just belly. He kept coming up. They're pretty there strong. He, he's strong, but he's He kept strong. doing that. Something's but up. But he swims back down. He might have air. He was doing that before you caught him? Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, that's cool, boys. But he swims back down. Hunter, what you doing? Dishes. Yeah. Good times. What do we have for dinner tonight? Dinner was good. It was tacos. Cool. How about you? What are you up to? Made my book. Yeah. We cleaned up the bean bars earlier today. Uh, we cleaned up this area. So, cool. Yeah. How about you, babe? Well, it's been a good day. Windy today. Actually, feels good. Yeah. Uh, made sour cream today from a recipe that I found on a boat recipe uh, out of media crema and vinegar. Didn't turn out too bad to have with our tacos tonight. The yeah, tacos were really good. Good job, babe. Thank you. Yeah, it was pretty windy today. Um, so we really couldn't dingy to shore. We were kind of stuck on the boat all day, so it was kind of boat tour day. Uh, got a couple ideas for our frit. We're having some trouble with our fridge, so I'm looking into other options for that. We'll definitely get some video of that, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, 30 to 40 knot winds throughout the day and pretty choppy, but just kind of a relaxing day on the boat. Get some chores done, eat some good food, listen to some music. That's about it. All right, another good day, right? Mm-hmm, cheers. Cheers. So basically what we're looking at here, guys, is uh, we're sitting on the mooring ball in Stewart, learning to live on anchor. We'll get more out to you on that. Uh, we're just waiting for a weather window. We need good winds to get over the Bahamas. Uh, once we see that in the five, seven day forecast, we need to work on our Bahamas entry requirements. Uh, we might actually do a whole video on that because that's kind of, it changes by the day anyway. So rather than talk about that right now, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do a video on that. Uh, we got a boat tour coming out, another video in another week or so. Uh, so look for, look, look for that. If you haven't seen episode one, make sure you check that out. So anything else you got? No, I got most of the provisioning put away today, which was an accomplishment in itself, but I had the time to do it. Good. Good. So we, our plan is to provision for a month uh, when we go to the Bahamas. Uh, provisioning can be kind of expensive there, so we're going to try and have a month on the boat. But uh, we'll talk about more of that later. 
we're gonna wind the night down with some bourbon and that's about it have a good night guys cheers